Hello, I am Svetlana Olifira, Nabus spokesperson. You are watching our July News Digest. While each day the Ukrainian military make closer our victory over Russian occupiers, the National Anti-Corruption Bureau proceeds with exposing top corruption and bringing those involved in it to justice. A new episode appeared in the high-profile Privat Bank case after the detectives found evidence of embezzlement of more than 85 million hryvnias. The funds had been siphoned off by bank's former executives just days before Privat Bank was declared insolvent. This is in addition to the already established facts of embezzlement of almost 137 million hryvnias and $314 million. At present, six persons, including the ex-chairman of Privatbank and his deputy, are suspected in three episodes of the case. The investigation continues. The Asset Recovery and Management Agency, also known as ARMA, was set up to ensure that seized property benefits the state. However, NABU has established that its former executives sold such assets for nothing to predetermined companies. Four episodes are only part of a large-scale investigation into seized property fraud. One of them concerns the sale of land plots purchased by a foreign investor for the construction of shopping malls in Odessa. Arma sold this land 18 times cheaper than the market price. In July, some of the participants in the corruption scheme, including the ex-ARMA chairman, officials of the agency and Setam State Enterprise, were notified of suspicion. Five apartment blocks for border guards were supposed to be constructed in the city of Ushgorod, but the allocated 14 million hryvnias was embezzled. This is a story about the officials of the Western Regional Department of the State Border Guard Service and the director of a developer company. The signed act of acceptance of construction works said the buildings were ready to live in. But in fact, interior partitions were lacking, assembly works were of poor quality, facade works had not been finished and the last floor wasn't there at all. Three participants in the scheme were given notices of suspicion. The investigation continues. The fuel and energy complex, often seen as a powerful generator of corruption schemes, reminded of itself this month. NABO exposed former officials of the state-owned Center Energo, who organized the purchase of pipes at inflated prices through a controlled company and beyond competition. As a result, more than 5 million hryvnias was illegally overpaid while NABO and SAPO served charge papers to the ex-deputy director of Trepiska TPP, the former head of a Center Energo department and the owner of a private company. Based on the files collected by NABO and SAPO, the Anti-Monopoly Committee started its own investigation into a possible conspiracy. An acting MP may soon find himself on the dock. In January, as a result of undercover operation conducted by NABU's detectives, he was exposed on receiving half a million grievances of undue advantage. The money was a kickback for ensuring the delivery of an ultrasound diagnostic system to one of the Zhitomir hospitals. The MP estimated his services at 30% of the equipment's cost and planned to further use the scheme, but the detectives stood in his way. Despite suspects ignoring summons to NABU, avoiding court hearings and parliamentary immunity, the investigation was completed, and indictment will soon be sent to the High Anti-Corruption Court. Participants in the scheme to seize over 1,500 tons of state reserve grain worth around 12 million hryvnias will soon stand the trial. The scheme is simple. You create the appearance of a private company shipping grain for storage, then return the real grain to that company and write off the shortage as waste. However, the NABU detectives were there to uncover criminal intentions and prevent the theft. In July, the investigation was completed. 
disrespect for the law and neglect of procedural obligations can lead to punishment, such as the forfeiture of 2 million hryvnias posted in bail for a suspect in Odessa budget 131 million hryvnias embezzlement case. Not only did he not appear before Sapo for an indictment, but also failed to come to the court session without a valid reason. The High Anti-Corruption Court upheld the prosecutor's motion, ordered a forced appearance of the defendant and fined him. This is for the first time the court has ordered such a punishment within the framework of Nabu and Sapo investigations. This was the July top news from Nabu. Check our website for more exposures, investigations and cases in court, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next videos. Stand with Ukraine!